Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're going to solve another two quiz problem, which is minimum absolute difference in binary search tree. So basically, these are one of the good problem quiz problem to do. So let us understand what the question is. The question is very simple. It's saying like we are given the root of a binary search tree and we have to return the minimum absolute difference between the value of any two different nodes in a tree. So what is saying like we have to return the difference of any two nodes. Let's say this one. Okay, so difference of uh, six minus one will be two. So this is the difference of, of over here. Now, if I do 6 minus 2, so the difference will be 4 between any two nodes. So I have to get the minimum, minimum absolute difference. So the maximum till now we have found is 4 and the minimum is 2. Okay, let's just see. So now 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2 will be 1. So the another minimum difference is 1. And let's just check over 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 will be 1. So like that, that's how we are getting the difference. So the minimum difference we still found is 1. So we have 2 1, so we can use uh, any, any one of them. Okay, so that's the minimum absolute, uh, minimum difference. We have to find in this binary search tree. So I don't know the question is like what is saying like we have to find the dif minimum difference between any two nodes. Okay. Now the things come like how we're gonna solve this problem. To solve this problem, uh, we're gonna use in order traversal iteratively. Okay. So we're gonna use in order traversal. Okay, guys. And I hope so you know like how we go how we traverse in orderly, which is a, a left node right in order. You know, node in, in the order. So L and R. So first of all, we go for the left. Once complete the left, then I will uh, go in the north, and after that, I will go for the right. So I hope so you know this thing. If you still don't know how to traverse in orderly, then I will suggest you to check uh, the that video in this channel. On this channel, you will find in this binary tree playlist. So just check it out over there. And ladies and gentlemen, let's start uh, moving to a question. So okay, so using in order traversal, we will find uh, find this thing. Okay, one more thing I, I want to say like we will use two pointers. So one is current. And the another one will be root. Oh, sorry. I mean previous. The current will be at my root, and my previous will be at null. Because, like you know, uh, I will put one my pointer on my root on my four, and the another pointer will be at backward. So let's just say, like I will get a difference. The difference will be four minus zero initially. Okay, and I will store that difference in in a let's say result. Okay, or you can say sum. Result will be the best thing to say. Okay. In the result so in the result i will get the minimum difference so i will compare i will compare the, my previous uh, difference with the new difference okay so that's how we're going to solve this question so ladies and gentlemen uh i hope so the approach is clear if you still have any doubt if you still don't understand don't worry we are solving the problem and you will definitely going to understand that's my guarantee ladies and gentlemen so ladies and gentlemen uh, let me just start solving this problem so here we go so first of all uh ladies and gentlemen my thing is to create a stack three note and uh, uh, I will declare this as st new stack. Okay, guys. Okay, let me check. Do we need any? Do we give it any constraints? So the constraints is simple. So it's saying like zero. Okay. So it's, it's not a big deal. So I will create a base condition as well. If you if you, if you don't mind, uh, or should I not? Or should I be? Mm. Leave it for now. We will check. We will. Uh, we will check if, if any test can be fit, then we will give a, a base condition as well. And with the original, uh, now first of all, my job is to create pointer. So I will create my current pointer, which is initially at my at my root. Okay. And then I will create my another pointer, which is called previous, which will be initially at null. I don't know where to put it, so I should just put it over there. And I will create my int, uh, which holds my result, which is integer dot max. Value now you're not like why you are giving this uh, minimum value like why why don't giving the zero because you know like uh, if I give the zero then we will have we will create the stack or flow over here so that to to have to not have that so I'm giving, the, giving my result as a minimum value the minimum value okay all right guys now what I will do I will just simply run a while loop and my while loop will run it has two conditions so my, the, uh, another condition will be to while my current is not equal to null till my current is not equal to null this loop will execute or my stack is not empty till my stack is not empty this condition will uh, continue i hope this thing is clear so if any one of the condition is will still true then uh, we, we, we will run, run it if, if both of them will fail then we will come out of, of this loop and we will uh, return our result so ladies and gentlemen i hope this thing is clear if you still have not any idea like what i'm doing over here then Check out in order traversal uh, video in, on this channel in the binary search playlist. You can find it in the playlist. Anyways, the engagement for what I will do, I will simply say if current is not equal to null, then do one thing. Then what I will do, I will add in my stack. As you know, push what my current. All okay, right, and I have to move my current to the left. Now it will go for the left. 
After that, I will. Uh, what I will do? I, I have to uh, now copy down from the stack because we are now on, on the node. So I will say current plus two st dot pop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now what I have to do? I have to add my uh, add. I have to. I have to. What I will say? I have to update my result over here. So what I will do? I will simply say result equals to match dot min. That's the minimum value of the previous result with the difference of uh, current value minus previous value. Okay, so it will uh, do it like this. Now you will no, now you will ask like till how, till how long this, this thing will run? So this thing will gonna run till my previous node equals to null. Okay, in general, so I have the same scale like what I'm doing over here. Uh, let me just make it this little, little more big. Okay. Okay, guys. So now what I will do? I will update. I have to update my previous as well. So I will say previous uh, uh, come to the current position after that, and my current will go to the right. Current dot right. Okay, and that's for our code. Finally, I will return my result over here. I hope so, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is like what I'm doing over here. And uh, let me just give a quick run here to see if do we face any compilation error. So let me just give a quick run here over here and. Ladies and gentlemen, is going and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So he's accepting all the cases. So let me just submit it to see, like, do we need a base condition or not? Uh, I hope so. We don't need, but let's see. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So it's accepting by the way. Okay, so let me just talk about the time complexity and the space complexity we are dealing over here. So the time complexity in this one we are dealing with big of n. Why? Because we are uh, iterative traversing n number of nodes in this one, and the space complexity is big of n as well. So let me just write it down over here for you guys. So the Time complexity will be big of n, and my space complexity will be big of n as well. Why space complexity big of n? Because like we are using the uh, using the hello stack, we are putting the n number of nodes inside, and we are removing the n number of nodes. So for the worst case, you know, and that's all this question is, ladies and gentlemen. I hope the question is clear. And uh, let me just give you a, again, if you want to know, or you can now end the video. I'm again giving you the dry run so all of this. I'm not giving the complete dry run. Understanding what I'm doing over here. So we create a stack. Uh, I create my two pointers over here. I just create my result. My result in my has a minimum value, okay. And I'm running this while condition. If it, this while condition only will run till then, the both condition will not fail, okay. If any condition is still true, then we will still execute this loop. And this if condition will only run till it only fill my stack till my current node reaches re the null. And this else condition will pop it out all the value and get uh, come uh, get the minimum value from over here and finally return the minimum result, okay. So thank you ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen for watching this video. If you still have any doubt, I will say just do let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then take care. Bye bye and listen to this video.